Hi, and welcome back to my channel again. For those of you who have uh, seen some of my videos or followed my journey for a while, you know that I've had a couple of instances now where I've had either my content copied or my entire website copied. Yeah, it's uh, that old right click copy and paste syndrome that's um, been affecting me uh, for quite some time now. And I've been looking into the effects of it, the how it affects your rankings and how it can affect your traffic uh, across your website if either you use duplicate content or somebody else takes your content and puts it on their website. Now actually, believe it or not, it can be more detrimental if somebody else takes your content and uses it on their website. Particularly if their website is classed as a more authoritative website than yours. They have a, a DA ranking, which is a Moz um, ranking factor um, that says how authoritative the website is and they class it as a domain authority DA, you'll often see it. Now you can check the authority of your website website or other people's websites by downloading the free Moz tool and that will um, show you the DA authority and also the page authority of any article or website you want to check. Now, like I said, believe it or not, it can be actually more detrimental if, a, if a, another website actually copies your content and puts it on their website. Now, I thought that would really penalize them uh, and apparently not. Um, what it'll do is it'll actually um, cause you to be be um, not necessarily penalized because um, what you'll see is just a downturn in traffic on that one article. For some reason, it seems that if a higher domain authority website copies your content, certainly if it's a certain percentage of that article, that it'll actually do you more harm than it will them. Now, I've had a couple of instances of copying. I've had, oh, I've had it where somebody has literally copied my entire website, headings, images, content, everything and that didn't actually have much of an effect on me. It only took about six weeks for Google to realize that that was total garbage and total duplicate content and that website was taken down. Uh, but I've also seen the effects on uh, one of my websites, fishkeepingforever.com, where it looks like somebody else has actually stolen my content or used a, certainly a high percentage of my content on their website. Now, because they're a higher domain authority website, Google seems to believe that the content is actually theirs. So what it's doing is looking at mine and penalizing me for them stealing my content. Now, that's totally unfair, right? Uh, it's, it seems ridiculous that actually there's this loophole within the system. And yeah, there is, uh, and there is some other tactics that's often used by, you know, uh, black hat, uh, negative black hat SEO people who can actually uh, pull your website down uh, by doing some of these tactics. So what we're gonna talk about today is actually how you can protect yourself from it. So I personally believe that the biggest percentage of duplicate content comes from people um, copy and pasting text from within your website. You know, the old uh, highlight, right click, copy, paste, you know, that, I think that's the biggest uh, proportion of duplicate content across uh, the whole web. I think that's where it comes from. Rather than people blatantly um, copying your entire post, saying it's theirs and offering it out as a guest post. Uh, that does happen, that is quite, um, quite a big thing at the moment, um, but I, I, I don't know how you can really prevent that from happening. So I've been looking at ways to stop it, and believe it or not, there is a really simple solution. It's not gonna stop it entirely, and it's not gonna stop somebody going to extreme measures to copy your content or do anything kind of fraudulent or black hat or negative black hat, should I say, because there are some good black hat people out there. And there is a simple thing you can do to actually stop people from copying and pasting from your website. And it is a free plugin. Uh, it's very simple to install. In fact, it's probably the easiest plugin I've ever installed, and uh, it works instantly. There's no setting up or anything. So. I've installed it on my website and we'll jump over the computer and I will have a look. Uh, I did check first of all to see if it would have any impact on my speed and uh, you can see from the screenshot now, this is the speed before I uh, installed the plugin and then you can see the speed on screen. Now, this is the speed and the performance after I installed the plugin. So as you can see, pretty much no difference. In fact, the load time actually was a little bit quicker. So, you know, there's, there's no detriment to speed by installing this plugin. 
You'll know I'm, you know, an avid believer in installing as little plugins as possible. But if I can install this plugin and it can prevent my website or my content from being copied, then I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to give it a try, see what happens. So let's head over to the computer now and we'll have a go and see what happens. Okay, so here we are over at fishkeepingforever.com. First of all, we're just going to demonstrate what I believe people are doing more often than not. Um, you can see an article here, American Flagfish. Um, simply, people are coming over to the website, highlighting the content, right click, copy. And then go over to their website or their blog or article they're writing and pasting it into their content. Now, like I say, if they have a higher domain authority, uh, if you're a quite a new website, uh, then it's going to negatively affect you. So if we go over to the back end of Fish Keeping Forever and go to um, plugins and click add new, we'll search for the um, plugin we're going to use and it's called copy proof website. Now copy proof needs to be all one word. So copy proof website. I'll put that on the screen now for you and then simply click install. And then as soon as that's installed, we're going to just click activate. There we go. So you can now see that that is activated and installed on the website. That's it. There's nothing to do. There's no setting. You don't need to do anything at all. So if we now go back over to Fish Keeping Forever and click the same article again, and let's try and highlight. I can't do it. I can't highlight anything on the article. So I am, I'm trying my hardest right click I can do but I can't highlight it therefore I can't copy anything from the website so this website now seems to be protected I'm just going to try the sidebar sidebar yep I can't do it like I can't highlight anything so it seems that it's now protected this website it's as simple as that no setup no fees um, it's a free plugin and it seems to work. Okay, so there you go. A very easy plugin to install. It prevents people from um, highlighting content within your website and then therefore they can't right click and copy it. So seems simple, uh, looks like it works. Uh, I don't know how I can monitor if it's working, if I'm honest, because you know, you're only gonna know if you've had a penalty or um, a decrease in traffic when it happens. Uh, it tends to be a gradual, slow death of an article when it has happened. Uh, and if it's happened across your website in a larger scale, then all you will see is your traffic numbers going down and you won't really realize it. You don't get a Google penalty, uh, I believe, I'm not 100%, I've never, I haven't heard anybody who said that Google has sent them a warning or a, a penalty for duplicate content. Um, I think the only thing that happens, I say the only thing, it's one of the worst things, is your website sees a slow death from slowly, gradually your traffic goes down. Google just takes away your authority and just slowly decreases um, your SERP rankings. So, uh, it's kind of like a, a very slow, painful um, penalty inflicted by Google if somebody else copies your uh, content that's got a higher domain authority than you. So let's see what happens. Uh, give it a try, see what you think. It's, I so far, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't install it. It doesn't seem to be able to have any negative effects on your website and fingers crossed it will prevent you from having your website or your content copied. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks a lot.